All right. This is Grandfather. Now I know that you are worried about the world situation, and I can understand that. But keep in mind that many of you who've been studying these videos and the written blogs and perhaps the books as well, eh? are at least partially, if not more fully, empowered. So, let's keep that in mind. You know that it's all right to do things to insulate and protect yourself. And it's also all right to do things to insulate and protect others that you know and love. But it's also all right to do something else. And that's called a heart connection. All right? Today I want to help you to learn that because that's really all that's needed from person to person. The heart connection is not about blaming. It's not about fault. It doesn't even attempt to analyze people's history and makeup and how they got to be that way, whatever, quote, that way is, unquote. Eh? <laughs> it just allows you to interact with others in a way that is of love. And I'm not talking about intimacy. I'm talking about kindness, friendliness, benevolence. All right? So, first off, you know what I'm going to say, but I have to say it, eh? Ask for all the most benevolent energies, eh? And you say it like this. I am asking that all the most benevolent energies that are available for me be all around me and all about me now. <clears throat> then wait. For some of you, you'll feel an energy come up, and that's what you're looking for. Wait until that fades a little bit. For others of you, you may not feel that, or you might just feel a tingling. If you don't feel anything, then wait about 20 seconds. You can glance at the clock, but don't stare at it. Then say, I am asking that all human beings on the earth now be totally united with their soul selves and their heart selves in such a way as kindness and benevolence is the day-to-day -day experience for us all. All right. If you feel an energy come up during that, then simply pause until uh, it fades a bit. That's uh, beings, light beings, angels, guides, and so on. We'll be helping to bring that about, and it will take as long as it takes. And wait till it fades a bit, then go on with the words. It is perfectly all right to write these words down and uh, read them. Try to do the exact words I've mentioned because that will work. All right. Now, for many of you, you're involved in doing true magic or something that's a bit more strong, more influential. All right. Not commanding or demanding, not forcing but influential, meaning encouraging in a benevolent way. This is what to do for those of you who go out on the land and do more. Wait, if you can, until either the sun is at high noon in your location. All right? That would be best. But if you have to do this at night, then wait until it's the middle of the moon cycle, meaning the middle of the night, all right? As close as you can get to that. Don't worry if it's a couple minutes one way or the other, all right? 
just a couple, meaning three or four minutes one way or the other. And that will work almost as well. Then, standing in your usual position on the land, raise your arms up over your head so that your palms are touching together. It doesn't have to be absolutely even, but your palms must be touching each other as best you can. Then lower your arms to your sides so that your palms touch the sides of your legs or hips. All right. Then relax your arms. Then looking straight forward with your eyes open, say this, I am asking that the heart connection between all human beings now be greatly amplified so we can feel the goodness in each other and interact with each other with the same or more goodness and benevolence. After you say that, make one complete rotation to the left and end up facing the direction you started in. Many of you will start facing north, but if that direction didn't feel just right to you, then start in the direction that feels right for you. After you've completed one complete rotation, then make one complete rotation to the right, ending up facing in the direction you started. It's all right to have your eyes open. Now, rotation simply means you're spinning essentially in place, but I don't expect you to do spins. Just move slowly, all right, so that you stay in the same place and end up facing the direction you started. I recommend facing the north, but if it didn't feel right to you, then you start in the direction that feels right to you. After you are done with that, take three side steps to the left. Rotate to the left one quarter turn and take, if you can, nine side steps to the left. If you cannot take that many, take as many as you can. Then, rotating to the left, turn until you are facing the direction you need to go and walk on with your life. For those of you doing this kind of thing, it is true magic. And that's worth doing. Now I want you to understand that there are going to continue to be earth changes. Mother Earth is not entirely comfortable with some things going on on the planet that humans are doing. You know this. War, of course. She's not happy with that. But she also wants you to be receptive to new technologies or even the pursuit of old technologies, for example, the technology of having a windmill that is attached to a pump and drives the pump and brings water up that is fresh and clear for animals or human beings. That's old technology, but it still works very well. So, be aware that newer technologies Advanced versions of solar energy and wind are becoming much more widely available. And there will be things that are new beyond that will become available, all right? And I mean to the general public. They will become available in the next three to five years, perhaps sooner, that will make you think that you've entered a science fiction world. But these things have been experimented with for a long time and are in practice in some ways now and will be able to replace many of the systems you have in place now, one of which is oil-fired generators and another is atomic energy. 
you will still be able to use the same distribution systems to get this electricity around so that everything can run smoothly. And some of you will even be using solar panels on the roof of your homes and so on so that you can have a, a little energy that you can use as a backup to that which is available from your utility companies and so on. And you know about these things. But I'm simply suggesting that you be open to possibilities that allow you to uh, do the things you like, such as using your computer or watching your television or running your washing machines and so on. Because Mother Earth is not comfortable with atomic energy. It would be fine if atomic energy was at a very advanced state, but it's not there yet. In its most advanced state, there is absolutely no uh, toxic residue whatsoever. Everything is used. And it requires a very small amount of original product to bring that about. But for now, Mother Earth has actually begun attempting to dismantle these plants herself. Please do not blame the people who have built these power plants. They really thought in the beginning that it was going to be the answer to the electrical need that could not be met by simply oil-fired generators. Remember, these times are not about blaming, although many people will be seduced, meaning someone will make a persuasive argument that this group or that group is to blame, or that this business or that business is at fault, or that because people are greedy, they're just doing this and doing that. But remember this. In fact, you are, and how many times have you heard this? You are all in this together. And the reason living prayer, benevolent magic, and true magic works is that all souls, all beings, all human beings, give their permission that some change is going to take place. I grant that this happens at the soul level. But you'd be surprised how many people, even people in businesses or in other groups of people that you have not trusted for some reason, even in those groups, at least 80% of those people are giving their permission. And maybe not everyone has to give their permission for things you request to come about. But over time, more and more people will be giving permission. And that's why living prayer, benevolent magic, true magic, and just magic in general that is benevolent will work faster and better. So, please, no blaming. Stop trying to say this person and that person created this problem. Stop trying to say this group and that group are at fault. Please stop saying that this business or that business it's trying to destroy us all. You are all in this together. Whether you work for the government, whether you work for business, whether you've got a farm, whether you work for yourself, whether you're doing one of the most important jobs on the planet, which is raising children and taking care of others, whether you are teaching whether you are learning, whether you are simply existing as best you know how. You are all in this together. So, please accept that is a fact. Good life.